Bree here and I am just about to start packing because we are going out of town this weekend. We have a wedding to go to in Tennessee. It is like just outside Nashville and I've never been before so I'm super excited. So Stephen's a groomsman so we have to go up there um, a day early because we have to attend the rehearsal and all of that. It's one of his childhood best friends that's getting married, a good friend of mine too. Um, so we're going to drive down tonight after Steven gets off work. It's like a seven hour drive. We'll get in around midnight. Then tomorrow we are going to go sightseeing in Nashville, attend the rehearsal dinner. Um, and then Saturday is the wedding. So yeah, it's just going to be a fun fall Tennessee road trip. And I thought it would be fun to vlog it. Um, so, hang on, so I need to start packing, which by the time this video goes up, I will have already posted a pack with me short, so I will link that up in the corner. Um, <laughs> and so I'm going to film the pack with me right now. We are on the road. This is my sister-in-law who's driving. Hi, eyes on the road. <laughs> so yeah, we have all of our road trip necessities over here, including um, snacks, a must. And we are picking up dinner on our way out of town. I just got myself some Fazoli's and I think they're stopping at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. I ordered this nice back of the seat organizer off of Amazon for the trip. And the best thing about it, it has a tray. So how far along are we? We're about halfway. Yep. Halfway there. A little less than halfway. Made a guest stop at Bob's Quick Sack. Was that what it was called? Something like that. Huh? Yeah, no, that's what it's called. And I'm going to get some work done. Okay, it is the next day. We are at our Airbnb here. Um, it's a really cute place. All of Jacob's family and the groomsmen are staying here. Jacob's the groom, if I did not mention that. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute little place. And now we are going to go into Nashville to do some sightseeing. Dang. Yeah, that's a big old house right there. That is a manor. Like We've gone country. This is Alan Jackson's home. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Maybe. We're operating under that yeah. assumption. Those are the rumors, at least. Just put our name in. We have an hour and a half wait, and this is a super cute area. So, Loveless Cafe and Motel. I do not know. About swing the hook or swing the ring. Yeah, but <laughs> just like that. Yeah, that's great. Oh no, it's possible. But just. But just. <laughs> I thought you were just going to nail it for a strike. <laughs> you would have never heard the end no. of it. No. It would have been over for you, man. <laughs> no. This is five right here. Five. No. That is a very interesting clock. It is. That's why I started recording this for the clock. I just pressed it. Oh, no, you're fine. Sorry, I'm being indecisive. <laughs> Which, Which one? I got the one because it's got the dinosaurs too yeah. and Nessie, so. Thank you. This yeah. is golden. Yeah. Can I see the back? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> good, good call. Yes. Do you see this clock? <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, yeah, I, 
Not in the market yeah. for a twisted clock. But. <laughs> twister print on the clock. But I would be friends with the person who had it. Yeah, uh, I did, but I mean, I heard you say it. I might be a little tempted. <laughs> I'm not, but. <laughs> I found my section. Chicken They're like, we're known for the fried chicken. Okay, so I got pulled pork, cream corn, and mac and cheese. The cream corn is so sweet. It's like a dessert. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Thank you. How's Hi. the fried chicken? I'm not a fried chicken. Hmm? Hi. Hi. How is the fried chicken? It's I delicious. Said. Oh, I heard there's a fried chicken. You put it in the camera. No. I'm not a fried chicken. <laughs> Enjoying your fried chicken? Oh, yes, it's delicious. It's very good. And the biscuits. Oh, my, the biscuits are amazing. Okay. Our next stop is a library that Amanda wanted to check out because she is a librarian. Totally. <laughs> I really like this stone thing. Yeah. That's cute. They have this cute little garden area here. I don't know what the purpose is. I mean, other than having an eye That purple building is the one where um, a whole bunch of people have the Cool. More money and I'll tell you all about it. Airbnb and we are on our way to the rehearsal dinner and the sun is right in my eyes. <laughs> Hi there baby. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> they have barn cats. Specifically barn kittens. <laughs> okay so got done with the rehearsal and then the lingerie shower. He did not get to go to that. No, nope, I went to the gas station <laughs> Um, and now we're back in Nashville at the game terminal. I love the skeletons climbing the building. Alright, it is the next day. The game terminal was awesome. Like, insanely awesome. Um, so now Steven is at the farm getting ready with the other groomsmen. And Amanda and I are um, going to downtown Franklin, which is the town we've been staying in. And supposedly it has a really cute historic downtown area. So... What on earth is going on there? It was Gentry Farm, so it must be a, huh. a thing to do here. Yep. Um, oh, we also saw some chickens crossing the road, but they did not tell us why. I got the fish and chips, but with truffle fries because it's a specialty here and I had to try it. Okay, just went to this really cute local bookshop. I don't know what it is about these kinds of bookshops. I can go into Barnes and Nobles, 
Barnes and Nobles. Wow. <laughs> I can go into Barnes and Noble or Walmart or Walmarts <laughs> and not buy anything. But I go into a tiny little cute bookshop and I spend forty dollars. But <laughs> I cannot help myself. It it is a more pleasant shopping environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more curated. Yeah. Okay. I did not think books was what I'd be spending all my money on. I figured it'd be more touristy stuff, but I'll show you later what I got. Almost home. About two hours out, I think. Two hours and twelve minutes. Two hours and twelve minutes. We just stopped for some lunch, but I'm not very hungry, so I got a Happy Meal for the first time in my adult life. <laughs> you gotta tell us what toy you got. Yeah. Okay. What toy am I gonna get? Oh no! I got Minnie Mouse. Oh cute. That's even better. Oh my! It looks like it's a fifty. It's a fiftieth anniversary one. Sweet. Okay, this is actually, I'm actually kind of excited about this. I don't like McDonald's, but I love their fries. Okay, I am back home. I've actually been back home for a couple of days, but I've just been kind of recuperating. Um, but I wanted to close out this vlog by showing you the things that I got while I was in Tennessee. I didn't get a whole lot, but I got a few little things. So I got this shot glass at the cafe that we ate at. I just like getting shot glasses when we go places because it's just an easy, fairly cheap souvenir to get. And then, I mean, this isn't really a souvenir, but um, it's bath salts, which I love, so <laughs> couldn't resist that. And then, like I mentioned, I got a couple of books. I got Lore Olympus, which is a webcomic that I love and am incredibly behind on, so I was really excited when I saw the graphic novel. I can finally catch up on that. And this one I've never heard of, but it's called the Final Girl Support Group, which you know, final girls are like the last girls surviving in horror movies. And it's a support group for all of these girls who have survived horrific events. And of course, stuff starts to happen. And I love slasher movies, so this just sounded so good. Um, I'll just read the synopsis really fast. Lynette Tarkington is a real-life final girl who survived a massacre. For more than a decade, she's been meeting with five other final girls and their therapist in a support group for those who endure the unthinkable, working to put their lives back together. Then one woman misses a meeting, and Lynette's worst fears are realized. Someone knows about the group and is determined to rip their lives apart again, piece by piece. But the thing about final girls is that no matter how bad the odds, how dark the night, how sharp the knife, they will never, ever give up. I love it. Um, it says here, in horror movies, the final girls are the ones left standing when the credits roll. They made it through the worst night of their lives. But what happens after? And I, I just love exploring that. I love it so much. Um, oh, and of course, I got um, a Minnie Mouse in my McDonald's Happy Meal that I got. <laughs> Can't forget that. Um, but it was a really great trip. We all really enjoyed it. Uh, it was great to see Jacob and Emily get married. It was just, it was an adorable ceremony. Um, yeah, it, it was really good. What are some of your favorite road trips that you've been on? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, and if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the Ineffable community. Because you are ineffable. <laughs>